<laughs> well, back by popular demand, Pop Up Globe returns for a third season with a brand new cast and five new Shakespeare productions. Here to tell us all about it is a man just as comfortable hanging off a trapeze as he is sitting with us right now. It's great to have you here, Mike Edward. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the coffee, Jesse. Can yeah. I ask first off, though, the, the, the Mo, is this a personal statement or what's going on here? Oh, it just kind of happened. No, I, I don't know. I, I um, was creating this role for the show, and as you do, I kept looking at myself and thinking it was nothing like what was going on on the inside, and I just realised one day that he needed a tash, you know, good, <laughs> good Mo. So I kind of channeled Tom Selleck, and then everything started working, you know, so it was good. Yeah, no, it is working. Yeah. I quite it's like working. it. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's yeah. working. Oh, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> so pop-up glow. Um, how are rehearsals going? Well, we've finished rehearsals, really, for the first play anyway. We open tomorrow night, so um, wow. touch wood, we're going to get there. So it's been, it's been amazing. It's been so amazing. Now, for those people who maybe haven't visited the Pop-Up Globe in the last uh, sort of a few times it's been here, what is the story with it? How does it differ from doing a, a normal play in a normal place? Oh, look, it's... Well, it's a replica of the Second Globe, which which um, was way back in the day of Shakespeare's time. And Miles Gregory, who is sort of the the driving force behind the whole thing, he has this concept of what does he call it? I don't want to misquote him. I think he calls it uh, playful Shakespeare, um, which is the idea that uh, there is no fourth wall. You know, you're you're with the audience, um, so you come out and you're they're, they're as much a part of it as the players are. Um, which it very much was back in the day, you know, yeah. so it's, that, that's what the world is. It's this joyous, playful place. Because it's the interesting thing, too. Have you been to the pop-up globe? Yes. Uh, is that when, when they're seeing, like, a police helicopter chase going over with the choppers above, that gets incorporated yeah, somehow yeah, into the yeah. show yeah. by it's the actors. It's really fun. It's really fun. It's just this crazy free reign and, and play. Like, it really goes back to just the, uh, the origins of it all, you know? And that's the great thing. As an audience member, you get to experience something quite different. So on top of seeing a great play, you just get to experience an incredible setting. But what about an actor? What do they get out of that? You know, when you, when you take what you're doing and then you put it into today's acting, what do you get out of it? Well, uh, I, I guess for me, sort of in the last... Uh decade or so I've been a little bit caught up in TV you know as you do you, you, you sort of follow that and you try and carve a path there but there's a certain disconnect that happens between you and the final product or you even in the audience so it's quite amazing um, you know after this last 10 years to suddenly go back and have the people there again smiling at you so you can look at them and smile back and it's such an amazing joyous thing I had no idea how much fun it would be and you've got the people they stand down the bottom too don't they like yeah they whole, stand like, there and drink thing and there's beer people up there. And yeah it's, it's crazy so, it's, so you're playing a bottom in a Midsummer Night's Dream yes yes the ass bottom yeah. the ass <laughs> the ass with the tash yeah. uh, and so what else are you playing uh, uh, I'm playing um, uh, the Prince of Aragon and the Merchant of Venice and the Duke of Venice and the Merchant of Venice yeah so it's um and what do you think it is that draws people back? Because, I mean, very successful, the pop-up globe. People love the experience. What is it that's bringing them back year after year? Well, it's, just, it's actually just a great time. Like, they're not taking it too... Um with too much reverence, you know, right. they're, they're really just, they're doing it for the people. So the whole, the whole thing, you know, from the outdoor beautiful bar to the pergola to the, to the way it's set up, it's all just for a great night out, you know, which I think theatre in, in lots of ways sometimes stops that, you know, people are scared to go to theatre because they, you know, they have to enjoy it or not call out or this, you know, this. And, you, and you've made some great TV shows, right? But people don't get to jeer at you when you're making no, your TV shows. No, thank goodness. <laughs> They get Put to your shirt me. back on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they get to jeer at me now, which is good. It's going to be yeah. With the whole thing with the, with the Shakespeare too is, I think in recent times we seem to take it quite seriously, like you know, it's been oh. serious. Where as back in the day, mm. it was just really raucous for the people. Wasn't yeah, it? I was talking to to that uh, with a friend yesterday. You know, I think we kind of kill it at school because we try and read yes. it and study it. And he was a really smart, intelligent man. But uh, the first point of call was was to perform it, to act yeah. it, you know, and that that gives it life and heart and the improvisation and the joy and and play around that is where it's supposed to be sort of realised. And I think people have got a little bit caught up in the austerity of it. Somehow. Yeah, you have to read yeah. Macbeth for the tenth time at school, yeah, and, it's, yeah. and you're not actually playing it; you're yeah, actually just all, reading it. <laughs> but when you're cutting a man of Billings' head off with a sword, then it's going to be all good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. Um, and how's circus school going? Is still is that chugging along nicely? Yeah, the Dust yeah. Palace has had a great year. We we took a show to Montreal, which which went wow. really well. Um, a couple of weeks back, we did a co-pro with the Auckland Philharmonic Orchestra. Which is just that like would have been sensational. Co-pro, that's like co-production. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, 
smell. Like this, that's like circus feet. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's, it's great. I mean, I don't really perform so much anymore. There was just a point where you go, Your shoulder, isn't it? sparkly <laughs> tights just aren't that becoming on a 40-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You've got to know when to hang them up. Well, I, but, I would um, disagree with that, Mike. There's quite a few New Zealanders that wouldn't mind that. So don't you worry about that. Yeah. No, but no, it's going well. It's, 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 it's still going, which I think in, in itself is the success. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing you on Pop-Up yeah. Globe as well. Yeah, come along. Have a great Best season. Best of luck for Thank opening so night. Much. Thank you very much. So Pop-Up Globe Season 3 race to Auckland's Ellerslie race course from tomorrow and it's going to continue in early 2018. You can check out the Pop-Up Globe website for the ticket details. And hurry because it usually sells out, okay? <laughs>